Hi everyone, I would like to share to you here what I know and how to do or how to bake this chiffon cake. And then these are the equipments and the ingredients that I need and that I used. Now let's start. First is the salt and then you put the baking powder and then you put sugar and then first you mix it just only to integrate those three ingredients that we put, the salt, the sugar, and the flour. Now you mix it with the mixer. If you don't have that, you can use an electric hand mixer, or you can do it with the hand, whisk it, you know. You can whisk it if you don't have all of those equipments. But that's okay, it will be the same result, no difference at all. First is the eggs, those are all the yolks. And then the vegetable oil, see to it that it's a vegetable oil and not other oils because this vegetable oil, when you put this cake later on in the refrigerator, it will not get hard, it will remain soft and fresh. We transfer it in a bowl because I'm going to whisk the white one here later on in this container. We put that aside, or I mean set that aside. In a big bowl, yes, because there we will be mixing this butter with the white, with the meringue, you know, I don't know how you call that in, in Tagalog, meringue. Now here it is now. We're going to put the white eggs. That is the 12 white eggs of the 12 egg yolks that I had available. First make it maybe about two or three the what you call it, the speed just only to mix it and to have this is uh, soft peaks you know soft peaks means that the eggs are already almost uh, beaten but still liquid but there are a lot of bubbles already 
and then when the bubbles is already visible then you can put now the cream of tartar That's the cream of tartar. Now at this time, you can increase the speed, maybe at uh, medium high, and then you can start putting the sugar that I haven't included in the in the ingredients a while ago this is an additional 100 grams of sugar additional you must gradually put it Sorry for the lighting, it is too white, the camera does not, uh, does it adjust the balance of the lighting, that is why it's too white and too, I don't know if you can see that actually, now it's getting meringue already, you will see at the sides later on, but it's about like clouds on the left side, uh, on the sides of this bowl. Then it is finished. It will take maybe about one to one to two minutes here. Now you see now on the sides it's like the clouds of the but that's really the egg white. It took maybe one minute and a half or two maybe to do it. And then if you take that out, be sure to pinch something or some of it that you will see if the sugars are already dissolved because that will be a problem if the sugar was not dissolved. But this is already, I tried it, I haven't just shown it in the video. And, and the pick, you see, it's a stiff pick. And then you must invert this, you will see, if you invert it, it will hold, it will not fall. That's already okay, that means it's okay. Let's finish and that's exactly what you are expecting it to be. And then you have, or you divide it into three and put the one third first and then mix it with the butter now don't make it with the machine but only with this spatula so that you, you just fold it you don't like to make this the, the egg white that we whisk we do, you don't like to make that liquid again you just mix it so that it will be bubbling or what you call that it will be nice and uh, airy then put the next third and then the next one third oh i'm sorry i did i think i cut the video already i only showed two times but that is i did it three times i would like it to be shorter so that it will be finished at once that you will not watch it too long so and I am hurrying here because I don't like to be too long the video will be too long if I make it too too much whisking and then I put it now and then I must do that it will be able to take out some of the bubbles that was maybe created in the middle of this cake that can happen Now the oven is ready 
I have been heating this for already about uh, 10 minutes to 15 minutes and that is 165 degrees centigrade uh, Celsius yes I don't know if you have Fahrenheit or Celsius in your own please compute it yourself later on you can google it how many is that in Fahrenheit I forgot it and now the time I'm just doing the time now I need it to be between 50 to 60 minutes the small one will be 40 minutes uh, 50 minutes and then the bigger one I leave it a little bit more longer because it's big it is not yet cooked it's thick and then now it's finished I will now first take the small one I took the small one out and then I let the big one again stay because it's not yet cooked enough that's done and then you must invert that so that it will not fall what I mean is the cake will remain as thick as dust because if you don't invert it the cake will go down and then it will not be airy anymore it will be just like a normal cake but that is why I did, I did this invert inverting it now I take the big one of course I will invert the two but since this is big you will notice it will a little bit bend down or what you call that it will fall a little bit but it's not too much you will see the cover now above you know you will see the space now later on here it will be look it's not it's having a space now because you can see it's going down a little bit but that will be okay and here you will leave that to get it cold until it is very cold what i mean uh, when you can hold this container then it will be good for your hands uh, for the cake already to be taken out but since i would like to have an air under i will put it in this rack so that there will be air also under and actually i'm going to bring this in our balcony because it's cold outside and then it will be cold faster so it was now brought from outside now i brought it inside again and now since you haven't seen that it took maybe about two uh, one hour 30 minutes to one hour then now i'm going to take this out now from the container You can take a knife, a very short one, and be careful. Do not just slide it around, but do it this way, up and down, up and down. And then I will cut it again to shorten the video, and then I cut in the middle also. Same as the big one, I'll do the same.
you in the next video I will be showing you how to make the frosting and then actually twist with coconut uh, dry uh, what you call that you will see in the picture and I will be showing that in the next video some other time thank you very much now we are going to try it and I will be holding that too maybe so that you will see how soft it is I will extra use my hand my left hand because my camera is on the right side you see how soft it is that's right okay thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and please do it and if you have time just comment and show me also what you have done and then I would be glad if you subscribe please see on the lower right side of this video there is a letter S there with a red background a white letter S with a red background please click it to subscribe if you haven't yet and I thank you very much for watching and please visit always my site I thank you very much